Hey, it's Nick. In today's video, I'm going to talk about seven fatty foods that'll help you get a flat stomach. Some of these are definitely going to surprise you, and the title already might surprise you that you, you could and should be eating foods with high fat in order to get a flat stomach. This whole anti-fat propaganda is over. You need to start eating awesome fatty foods, and I'm going to tell you which ones you need to focus on right now. Food number one, we got dark chocolate. Wow, I think I just won you over, right? Dark chocolate, you want to make sure to get at least 70% uh, cacao content. Look for organic, ideally, fair trade, a fair exchange, and all that stuff is good. Uh, if there's almonds in there, that's fine. Uh, dark chocolate has tons of antioxidants. It has um, stearic acid, which is the awesome fat, uh, fatty acid that's in dark chocolate. That's great for um, your liver, it helps you detox. It's great for your brain, and it tastes really good, so it's good for your overall mood. Food number two, coconut and everything about it. Specifically, coconut oil, which is my personal favorite to cook with, to put on my skin, everything else, coconut milk and coconut flour. You can use coconut flour to sub in for, to make your baked goods gluten-free. Uh, you'll definitely read up on how to cook with coconut flour. Coconut oil has uh, lauric acid, which is similar to stearic acid. It's an awesome saturated fat. It's been shown to heal or just promote an overall healthy brain. Metabolism especially, it's really awesome fat burner. Uh, coconut products are just awesome. All right, so food number three is grass-fed butter. I want to make sure you get that grass-fed in there. You want to find butter from grass-fed, pasture-raised, organic cows, so you're avoiding all of the uh, GMOs, the uh, antibiotics, hormones, all that stuff, and you're just getting the overall awesome butter. Kerrygold is the brand that you should look for. It's at most stores. Uh, butter has uh, vitamin K, which is not found in very many foods. It has CLA, which is great for recovery, overall body, immunity, and metabolic health. Get some butter, cook with butter and coconut oil, and you're all set. Uh, number four, we're going to do eggs. And this is definitely the whole egg. We're going to be done with egg whites for good. Friends don't let friends throw away their egg yolks. It's just a waste. It's the most nutritious part of the egg when you combine the egg yolk and the egg white for the protein, the fat, and you eat some carbs with it to get a balanced meal. It's like the perfect snack or breakfast. Food number five, grass-fed beef. Again, with the butter, you want to find grass-fed, pasture-raised, organic, Grass finish is ideal, so you get complete grass fed throughout the whole lifestyle of the cow, avoiding all of the bad grains, uh, GMOs, hormones, antibiotics. Cows are ruminant animals, that means they're meant to eat only grass. Alrighty? Food number six, avocados. Aren't all these foods delicious? I mean, why would you argue with me on eating these fatty foods? All of my clients eat all of these fatty foods. It was hard at first because they're resistant to, to eating more calories, but these foods are so freaking healthy that you gotta create health before you want before you lose weight, before you can lose weight. Avocados, so there's monounsaturated fatty acids similar to olive oil, which might could go on this list if that was eight. Uh, you don't want to cook with olive oil too much though. Uh, and they're just delicious. You can make guacamole, uh, combining avocado with a piece of fruit, it's a good snack. They're, and some protein would be ideal because there's not that much protein. So like some grass-fed beef jerky, avocado, piece of fruit, boom, you got an awesome snack there. Number seven, nuts. And the best nuts are like Brazil, walnuts, almonds, cashews. Uh, they have tons of monounsaturated, very little polyunsaturated. Polyunsaturated is the one, are the ones you generally want to avoid, like canola, soybean, flax, that type of stuff. If you have questions about that, just shoot comment and I'll uh, try to answer as best I can with whatever the question you have. Uh, so these are seven fatty foods for a flat stomach. Uh, but just beware, there are healthy foods out there that you should be aware of. And I have an awesome article that I want to send you to so you can make sure that you know these 23 specifically foods that are healthy, con well, are considered healthy by society and by mainstream nutrition advice but you should definitely not eat them. So this, eating these foods goes against probably everything that you've learned. This is everything against I learned in college and when I studied myself, realized that why are we avoiding these foods that are so healthy and so awesome for the brain, for the metabolism and for losing weight specifically. So click the link right below this video. It, it has 23 foods that, 23 healthy foods 
that you should be aware of and you should probably avoid. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click that link to read that article. Eat these fatty foods to get a flat stomach.